Episode A, Busting the Book of Mormon, the Paleo-Indian, Clovis First Models, and DNA. The claim that the Lamanites are indigenous descendants disproved. The Mormon Church has revised the introduction of the Book of Mormon, now claiming that the Lamanite descendants are among the indigenous peoples, rather than being their sole ancestors, as originally taught by Joseph Smith. The introduction page of the Book of Mormon states, The book was written by many ancient prophets, by the spirit of prophecy and revelation. Their words, written on gold plates, were quoted and abridged by a prophet historian named Mormon. The record gives an account of two great civilizations. One came from Jerusalem in 600 BC and afterwards separated into two nations, known as the Nephites and the Lamanites. The other came much earlier when the Lord confounded the tongues at the Tower of Babel. This group is known as the Jaredites. After thousands of years, all were destroyed except the Lamanites, and they are among the ancestors of the American Indians. There are significant problems with the above quote from the introduction page of the Book of Mormon on LDS.org. First, the Book of Mormon claims that a civilization arrived in the Americas in 600 BCE. This group, known as the Nephites and Lamanites, are said to be descendants of two brothers from the same father, Lehi, who is described as a prophet in Jerusalem around 600 BCE, during the time of Jeremiah. According to the Book of Mormon, Nephi, one of Lehi's sons, was instructed by God to build a boat and sail to a new land that would be their inheritance, a land purportedly never inhabited by others. Joseph Smith claimed that Nephi's group landed in what is now Central America, where they split into two rival factions, the Nephites, who were loyal to Nephi, and the Lamanites, who followed the two eldest brothers of the Lehi clan. These two groups are said to have warred for over a thousand years, with the Lamanites eventually exterminating the Nephites and becoming the sole ancestors of the indigenous peoples. Additionally, the Lamanites are claimed to have destroyed another civilization, the Jaredites, who supposedly existed in the land since the time of the Tower of Babel. This contradicts the earlier claim in the Book of Mormon that Lehi's clan was the first to inhabit the land. Mormon 813 First, Behold I, Moroni, do finish the record of my father Mormon. Behold, I have but few things to write, which things I have been commanded by my father. And now it came to pass, that after the great and tremendous battle at Cumorah, behold, the Nephites who had escaped into the country southward were hunted by the Lamanites, until they were all destroyed. And my father also was killed by them, and I even remain alone to write the sad tale of the destruction of my people. But behold, they are gone, and I fulfill the commandment of my father, and whether they will slay me, I know not. We will address the issue of the Jaredites after discussing the problems with the story of Lehi, as these interconnected claims present a twofold problem. The story of a civilization dating back to 600 BCE presents significant issues when compared to the well established Paleo Indian and Clovis First models, which details the origins of indigenous peoples in the Americas. According to these models, indigenous peoples arrived around 12,000 to 20,000 BCE by crossing the Beringian Ice Bridge from the Mongolian-Siberian region. DNA evidence supports these models and is widely accepted without dispute. Evidence from Paleo-Indians The Paleo-Indian model posits that the indigenous arrived via the Bering Land Bridge, Beringia, from Siberia into North America around 15,000 to 20,000 years ago, Pre-Clovis archaeological sites such as Monte Verde in Chile, Cactus Hill in Virginia, and Meadowcroft Rock Shelter in Pennsylvania provide evidence of human presence in the Americas dating back as far as 18,000 years ago. Evidence from Clovis First Model Based on the evidence from genetics, archaeology, and the Clovis First Model, the Book of Mormon's claims about the origins of the indigenous peoples in the Americas are not supported by scientific findings. The overwhelming evidence points to a much earlier human presence in the Americas, originating from migrations out of Asia, rather than the Middle East. Therefore, the historical narratives of the Book of Mormon are contradicted by established scientific understanding of human migration and settlement in the Americas. These sites predate the proposed arrival of the Nephites and Lamanites by thousands of years, demonstrating that the Americas were already inhabited long before 600 BCE. Genetic evidence. Genetic studies show that indigenous peoples of the Americas 
primarily carry genetic markers associated with East Asian and Siberian populations, reflecting their ancient migration routes. The DNA markers in the majority of indigenous tribes show no Middle Eastern lineage, 0% pre-Columbian. Modern genetic research supports the Paleo-Indian and Clovis First models with no significant evidence of Middle Eastern ancestry in pre-Columbian populations. Revising the Book of Mormon's claims, the Book of Mormon's narrative that the Nephites and Lamanites are the sole ancestors of the indigenous peoples is contradicted by overwhelming genetic and archaeological evidence. Additionally, the claim about the Jaredites arriving during the time of the Tower of Babel, estimated by creationists to have occurred around 1757 to 1996 BCE, conflicts with the established timeline of human migration to the Americas, which occurred over 10,000 years earlier. Addressing the Jaredites The Tower of Babel is believed to have occurred between 5,500 and 4,000 years ago. This places the arrival of the Jaredites approximately 7,000 years after the migration of the Mongolian Siberian peoples to the Americas. This suggests that the Book of Mormon is mistaken, as it twice claims that God told its followers they would inherit a land previously uninhabited by other civilizations, which was not the case. Study on Cherokee DNA There was a research study conducted in October 2009 called Anomalous Mitochondrial DNA Lineages in the Cherokee, which stated that the Cherokee have approximately 33% Middle Eastern DNA. This study has been debated in the academic field, as ancient DNA is not as easily interpreted, and genetic drift is a concern. The LDS Church now uses the concept of genetic drift to explain why Hebrew DNA is not found within indigenous populations. Conclusion, given the DNA evidence, the Paleo-Indian and the Clovis First models, we can confidently reject the Book of Mormon as a historically accurate document. The scientific findings regarding human migration and genetic evidence overwhelmingly support the Clovis First model and demonstrate that indigenous peoples arrived in the Americas long before the proposed timeline of the Book of Mormon. Consequently, the Book of Mormon should be regarded as a work of fiction created by Joseph Smith, drawing from various sources and narratives available during his time. There is no logical or rational defense against these facts, and they clearly disprove the Book of Mormon's assertions about the origins of indigenous peoples. Please watch for future videos, and thank you so kindly for watching. This is the Ex-Mormon Informant signing off for the day.